Hey guys, this is Oblong for EA Sports Game Changers. This week's blog is about putting. And along with the tips in the blog, I thought I would show you a video so you could kind of get an idea of the procedures I go through when I set up a putt. And hopefully it'll help you guys out that are needing it. Uh, this first putt I've set up is on slow greens. Uh, before I adjust for my distance, I'll try and read the right to left break by looking at the beads. So after I've done that, now I want to do the distance. This putt is a foot uphill and I know I need to add a foot for every inch uphill it is so with it being one foot up I need to add 12 feet to my putt so I'm now aiming my 34 foot putt 46 feet I'll look at my putt preview and I'll bring the camera in so I can kind of move around and see just exactly how far off I am not very much uh, I'll zoom in and make that little minor tweak and that should be enough to make this what would seem to be a pretty hard putt an easy one all right things are a little bit different when you're on very fast greens if we look at a similar uphill putt this one from 46 feet away um, this time even though it's uphill because I know a a uh, very fast putt from 46 is going to go at least 60 feet. I realize I really don't even have to add any distance. So I just need to read my left to right break. So I try and make that adjustment. Uh, use my camera again to zoom in. Make that little tweak there at the end. And slow back and straight through. And there you go. Another putt made. Uh, for a downhill putt on very fast greens... Uh, those are probably the, some of the trickier putts that you have to make because uh, you don't want to hit it way past the hole if you miss and you don't want to hit it too hard at the cup because it'll go right over it. So this one from 27 feet, 3 inches down, um, normally you would think take away the 3 inches or the th 3 feet, aim 24. Um, because it's on very fast greens, I'm going to take off another four feet I'm gonna be aiming about 20 feet on this one and just for my left to right break and hit it now this one I almost hit too hard even at 20 feet because it hits the back of the cup pretty hard but again that cup it almost works like a backboard at times another place that you can use the cup as a backboard is on very short putts that have nasty breaks to the left or right um, in this case, on very fast greens, I'm only five feet from the cup, two inches uphill. Normally, you just hit that normal, but because it's got such a nasty break in it, what I'm going to do is over aim. I'm going to aim about nine feet, go right edge, and just pretty much slam it into the cup. Uh, it's just one technique that you can use to take the break out and make those, those putts drop a little easier. Now rain's a whole different story. There's no backboards in the rain. You gotta make sure you hit these putts hard. Um, in this case here, I've got a 17 foot putt. It's four inches uphill. Uh, they don't break a whole lot in the rain, so I can just aim pretty much right edge. Um, with it four inches up, I wanna aim 21 feet, and then I need to add another half of that distance to account for the rain. So half of 17 is eight or nine. So I'm aiming 29 feet to get this one into the cup. Well, guys, hopefully those ideas, tips, and techniques will have you sinking some really long putts really soon. Fairways and greens and putting for dough. See you guys.